evolution of sound. Hey, hey, what's up, Angels? My name is Emerald, and welcome to today's topic, how to make your own G-House vocals. In this tutorial, we're not going to use any previous acapella from old hip-hop songs, so we don't run into any trouble. But what we are going to do is we're going to make our own. So if you guys are ready to learn, let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to need to know going into this, guys, is that you're going to need to be not shy. What this means is when you record yourself, even if you're alone in your room, don't be afraid to get into the state of mind that you're a gangster and then get your whatever you want to get out. For instance, here I have a couple of vocals and what I want you guys to pay attention is going to be the, you know, how I'm saying it. I'm just like going like, you know, like I started this gangster shit. You know, you have to say it with meaning so it translates to your song. And that's going to be the most important thing. If you're hiring someone to do it or you have a friend that has that voice accent, awesome. So pretty much here are mine. I started this gangster shit. West Coast drop. Rolling down the street in my Cadillac, baby. So you can see in the last one, it's kind of cringy, but it still works. It's one of the vocal packs from the Confessions Revolutions pack coming out on January 15th. So how do we do this? How do we make this sound legit, worthy of, you know, a track? Well, first, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of these two because the first one is the one I really like, and it's in the pack, and I'm going to teach you how I did it. So first off, what we're going to do is just cut you know maintain it cut it make sure it's you know there and then we're gonna control j to consolidate it so now we have i started this gangster shit so now the next thing is you're gonna have to decide how you want your vocal to play out in your track keep in mind this is a bar so pretty much we're here we can see our you know our data and that's the cool thing about ableton we can start to warp this and put it in place so first thing is first do you want this to hit right on the dot or do you want to have so, you know not sound robotic well i wanted to sound robotic because in a lot of people's music it needs to sound in sync so what we're going to do is double click and then we're going to move this over let's say here and now i started th you know the difference between that and this i started th you know, it's very minimal, but again, it's putting it in beat. So pretty much that's what we're going to do. Just move it over and that's it. Now, keep in mind down here, we're going to have Complex Pro. And this is very important. You always want to be in Complex Pro because it's going to allow it so that when you slow it or make it fast, it doesn't bounce over stuff thinking it's a beat. So have it always in Pro when you're doing this. Okay. Now we have this here. I started this game. So I started this. I kind of want this to either start here or here. I started this gangster shit. And you can see the difference. I started this gangster shit. So pretty much, you know, you can have it here or here. I started this gangst. So I think it'll sound better either here. I started this gang. It's a bit faster. Now here, again, do the same thing. And then here we do the same thing. I started this gangster shit. You know, and now we have something that is along the lines of, okay, in sync with the music. We can even make this farther. I started this gangster shit. I started this gangster shit. I started this gangster shit. So you can see we can get fun with it. So what I'm going to do is just leave it how it was. Started this gangster shit. Started this gangster. I start I started this gangster shit. There we go. The next thing is going to be you're going to have to obviously, you know, you know, um you know, EQ, reverb, your vocals. So the first thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to be using the CLA vocals here. And pretty much, if you don't have access to it, I'll do it with Ableton plugins only as well. But the CLA vocals is the best one to use. It just instantly gives you the sound you need for your vocals, any type of vocals. I always use it. And group with all the homies in there. <laughs> um, the CLA gang, because, you know, we use the shit out of it. So I started this gangster shit. You can see it already sounds pretty good, but the next thing I'm going to do is I like to go with the Spaceman one. I started this gangster shit. What I'm going to do is get rid of these at the end so they're not active. Put them down at zero. And then I'm going to choose a tight reverb and put it very low. I started this gangster shit. Now I'm going to compress it heavily because there is a bit of dynamic to it. I started this gangster shit. There we go. I started this gangster shit. I started this gangster shit. And there we go. And now we're going to turn this into something that sounds like g house now this is where the magic happens so once we have this consolidated we're gonna consolidate it one more time and now we have the original one and now what we're gonna do is go into textures now you can go with textured tones it's totally up to you i like to go with textures and what we're gonna do is just pitch it down I started this dance of shit. now there's this thing called you know grain granular synthesis you know and it's all based on sampling you get a sample and then it's broken down into little grains and then you can delay a grain or you can make them go faster than the other so then you get these cool kind of vibes so this is what was happening right now you get to decide how big the grains are how big the foul is I shit. This game to shit. you can see it's kind of delaying so pretty much choose your right you know however you want it I started this game to shit. and there you go we're gonna have that so now let's get rid of this I started this game to shit. 
Now let's add a little bit more reverb. I started this gangster shit. We can add some delay. I started this gangster shit. Let's make it be kind of eights or quarters. I started this gangster shit. And then now we can add stereo. I started this gangster shit. And there you have just a G House vocal. Now, if you want to add more character to this, and you can distort it and do all kinds of things. Now, let's get rid of CLA vocals and do this the way if you didn't have CLA vocals. Now, if you don't have CLA vocals, what we're going to do, of course, you know, the first thing we want to do is EQ it. That's going to be the first step. And pretty much. I started this gangster shit. Let's get rid of some of the low end we're not using. I started this gangster shit. And then we're going to give it this here. I started this gangster shit. To get a little bit of the white noise that comes with recording. I started this gangster shit. I started this gangster shit. I started this gangster shit. So I'm gonna boost here. I started this gangster shit. Alright, cool. Now, the next thing is, the reason I didn't put the compressor first, guys, is because compressors, I want you guys to think of them as highlighters. We talked about the fact that compressors lower dynamics, you know, it kind of brings it all down, and then you bring it back up at a very low dynamic level, so then the volume can't really move that much. So pretty much, anything behind a compressor, let's say I put my compressor here, is highlighted. So let's say I EQ something a certain way, and I compress the crap out of it, then those things are going to get accentuated. That's why if you put reverb before a compressor, you can hear the reverb more or a delay same thing so pretty much we're gonna apply the compressor to just get that EQ out and there we're gonna have our little compressor and then what we're gonna do is just compress I started this gangster shit I started this gangster shit like so and then we're gonna bring it back up now this is where I'm gonna increase the volume I started this gangster shit I started this gangster shit this is just me overdoing it though it, like in order to make up for the gain reduction we had because remember compression actually makes stuff sounds you know um, low like it reduces volume because it lowers the high the high dynamic gets pushed down to the low dynamic so pretty much I'm just boosting like increasing the volume I could have gotten a utility if I wanted to I started this gangster shit I started this you know let's go with this I started this gangster shit all right there we go now the next thing I want to do is I want to have reverb and I'm gonna have it in the channel and this is gonna allow me to get it a bit crazier the good thing about doing it this way is that when we use CLA we don't really have much access to you know these parameters which might be a good thing for some people because some people might be perfectionist ADD and they're trying to change everything when in reality you know just be simple with it so pretty much here what I'm gonna do is I can do a couple of things I can just choose to have the dry and white at 40% I started this game Shit. We're gonna have the same effect, or we can take this up a notch and put the dry and wet at 100%, lower the size, lower the decay, and we're gonna get these type of vocals. These are very cool vocals, and reverb is used this way in trap and you know to make the sounds kind of sound that kind of weird vibe to it. Now, the thing here that opens up is that now we can process using the diffusion network, which I consider it an EQ, and pretty much. You know, a kind of an EQ for that diffusion. And then we have a chorus that you can add. Now, from here, let's, you know, I kind of want some of my dry signal. Like that. Let's see if we put our reverb behind the compressor. Sounds dope. Now, the next thing is I can choose to saturate, and this is another thing we can do to kind of add character. Now, saturation adds harmonics or increases volume at the harmonics. So pretty much, remember, if you're playing a key of A, that has a frequency to it. And pretty much a, the third of A is going to be, I believe, C. So when you play those two, you're kind of playing harmonics there. You're playing like almost a chord. You're just missing that E. So pretty much each note is going to have a frequency, and you're just boosting. Imagine you're boosting the frequencies of the chords in a way, and that's the way saturation works. Now, let's do that to the higher frequencies and add some width. <laughs> Now the last thing I want to do here is going to be to make this wide. So how do I make it wide through Ableton without CLA, without S1, without waves at all? Well, we can do a simple trick. And this is going to be using the audio effect rack to pretty much have two instances of utility going. And pretty much what we're going to do is just turn this into list mode. And then we're going to be able to put in another... Um, utility now one of them is going to be my mono so I'll call that mono the other one is the chain is the stereo one so my mono one I'll put at zero and then my stereo one I'll put at 200 and all I do is boost a little bit here I started this gangster shit. I started this gangster shit. so you can see it sounds a lot wider and the last and final thing is if you want to get that last wideness then we're gonna add a ping pong delay at the end of this chain which is gonna be like the last portion of this chain and what we're gonna do is just add you know, a bit of ping pong just to it. I started this gangster shit. 
and we're pretty much done there. We could have done the Haas effect with the simple delay as well, but then that's going to really make things out of phase. So be careful. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys want any more of these type of vocals and you want to just play with them, you don't want to learn how to make them, you just want them, then pretty much we have giving away free 15 vocal phrases. You can find them in the link in the description below. Hopefully you guys enjoy them and get ready for January 15 for Confessions Revolution, a tool that's going to give you guys the sound of Tuchami, of Dombrensky, of Mala from the Confessions label. Hope you guys are ready for that, and I'll see you guys next time, ninjas. Take care and have an amazing day. I started this gangster shit.